How's it going everyone? It's Sam. The market is racing up. Bitcoin just broke out against its downtrend. Ethereum's breaking out. A lot of altcoins are doing well. And we have a couple big pieces of news you should know on this Monday. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on that bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this as soon as I make them. There's also a link to Marjax underneath the video where you can start trading cryptocurrency using leverage. Now, it's not right for everyone, but it can be used to amplify your returns. It can be used as part of a well-rounded strategy in the crypto market. Now, as you can see, Bitcoin came up to about 72,800, and we did get rejected just a few hours ago, but still up pretty close to the all-time high of about 73,000, about 73,800. So very close and breaking out of this triangle which is pretty important. I think everyone was pretty much watching because we just kept on ranging. Boom, 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 and then broke out. A lot of altcoins are doing well too, and we'll get to why this is in a second. But when we just look, let me refresh this page. Went from 67.8 last time I looked at this, just a few days ago. Now Ethereum's up at 3,640. Bitcoin's in that 71,500 range. Let's actually sort by the last 24 hours. Neo. Lido dog with hat up another 12.5%. Now, why is this? Why are we breaking out? A couple different things. We do have strong volume from the ETFs. You can see IBIT with $630 million of volume. This is in the first hour and a half that the market's open. Then way down here, we have GBTC. GBTC at 182 million. And then right below that, we have FBTC. So we'll have to wait, obviously, until the end of the day to see what the inflows look like. But it's looking like a pretty solid day. You can also see the Pro Shares Bitcoin Strategy ETF right under GBTC. It seems like a decent day in terms of volume. We also got news of multiple Chinese institutions that are going to launch Bitcoin ETFs in Hong Kong, including the Harvest Fund and the China Southern Fund. So obviously, more and more countries that start allowing these ETFs, more and more people buy them, more and more people can invest, especially when you think about China, uh, China. A lot of people invest in the property market, probably have a bad taste in their mouth after you know, uh, the largest property developer went belly up. So I would not be surprised if people have a significant interest in Bitcoin over there. And this is kind of crazy. Uh, honestly, I'm going to have to do a lot more digging into this to learn more of the ins and outs of this, but Athena Labs is adding Bitcoin backing to its USDE synthetic dollar. USDE is an is already backed by Ethereum, Ether-based liquid uh, staking tokens, and Tether. But Athena says Bitcoin will provide a more safe and robust product for USDE token holders. So Athena Labs, the team behind USDE, has added Bitcoin as collateral to their synthetic dollar peg product with the hopes of scaling significantly from their $2 billion supply. With Bitcoin open interest increasing over the past year, USDE has the capacity to scale by a factor of 2.5, Athena explained on a post on X. So this was actually announced four days ago. They said BTC Derivative markets are growing at a faster pace than ETH and offer more scalability and liquidity for Delta hedging. And they bought half of a billion dollars, supposedly, of Bitcoin to put in their treasuries. Okay, so this is odd. It's, you know, it is a bit reminiscent. It reminds me of a similar situation to what happened with Luna, uh, with their stablecoin. Um, I'm not sure it's the same situation. They are paying out an APY. Uh, we'll have to see how this goes. You know, uh, it's, it's relatively small. When you compare it to Luna, it's 120th the size. So I'm not really worried about it. I think there will be more people that start to buy Bitcoin as collateral, though. Uh, just like the other day, I posted a video talking about how I sold, well, I put half of my treasury or half of my reserves for a rental property in a Bitcoin ETF. So I went through the numbers. If you haven't seen that video, you can just look. It was my last video, I believe. And I go through those numbers and it is quite surprising after a while how much that can do for you, right? Instead of just letting your money erode away to inflation. So 
be on the lookout for that video or go check it out. Overall though, seems like it's a pretty good day already. Stock market looks okay. Crypto looks really good. We have just less than two weeks to the Bitcoin halving. Progress is at 99%. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Let me know your thoughts on the crypto market underneath the video. Are, are you excited for this breakout? Are you trading at all? What are you investing in? Now, I will say, let me, let me show you something. The Ethereum Bitcoin chart is looking quite interesting. And this is something I consistently look at. Like, if you're invested into cryptocurrency, you have to know where you want to invest within cryptocurrency because you can be bullish on Ethereum at one time and then not bullish on Ethereum at another time. Even though you like the underlying protocol, you know, maybe you don't like the chart setup. It's, it's looking really interesting here, though. For the last year and a half, we had this downtrend where we continue to get reje rejected by this line over and over and over again. Then broke out above it. This is Ethereum over Bitcoin. Then fell right back below it. It seems like it's pretty much irrelevant the last couple months. But we just touched the exact bottom that we hit in January. And the same bottom, well, I guess a little bit lower than we hit back in June of 2022. So it is a pretty key level. I'll be curious to see if we continue moving up. Obviously, it would be quite bullish for altcoins, quite bullish for Ethereum too, but at this point, it's just a much, much higher low, or lower high. Um, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not convinced Ethereum is breaking out against Bitcoin yet. I mean, especially when you just scroll out, like, look how little this little pump is compared to the giant downtrend. But I am paying attention to it because if we could get a higher high up in this range, that would be like a 20% pump. 25% pump for Ethereum without Bitcoin moving, I think that would be quite bullish for altcoins. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that's going to happen because honestly, um, there's just so much money flowing into these Bitcoin ETFs that I think the cycle is a bit different. Maybe we do see dominance stay more high than we've seen in the past, but those are also famous last words to say this time is different. Again, let me know your thoughts on Ethereum Bitcoin down below in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you've been buying anything recently, what you've been buying, let me know what you think about the stable coin as well. Let me know if you think it's a little bit too reminiscent of things we've seen in the past. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We do have a couple big launches coming this week for cryptocurrencies. I'll talk about that in a future video. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you for hitting subscribe. Check out the links to Marjex and to CoinW and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.